Hello everyone and welcome to the Turfway Park Report for Saturday, February the 1st. Nine races today. Poly track as always is fast. We start with 5,000 fillies and mares going six and a half furlongs. Scratch, the seven Comanche Princess. Favorites in here, the six True Starlet and the eight Justifiably Salty. And they're off. For the lead from the outside, that's True Starlet and Justifiably Salty. Moving up from between those two trues, or move from the rail rather, Image of Grace. Now it's Image of Grace who moves through and gets the lead over True Starlet in second. Justifiably Salty runs third by two. Patty's Way is now fourth. Then it's She's Out to Lunch, Jenny Ready Made, Silver Feeling Trails, 23 and 2 for the quarter. The inquiry sign is up. Uh, hold all tickets on the, there's an inquiry involving the start of the race. They're into the turn. The leader on the inside is Image of Grace, has it now by a half length. Drew Starlet on the outside gains. Then a gap of two and a half to Justifiably Salty. Followed on the outside by Patty's Way with a furlong to run. True Starlet now gets the lead from Image of Grace. Then Justifiably Salty. It's True Starlet. True Starlet wins by two and a half foot over second. Justifiably Salty, Image of Grace, then Patty's Way. Number six, True Starlet. The favorite under Perry Oots takes the first. Uh, trained by Ken McGowan, paid 562.8220. We had a dead heat for second, the one image of grace and the eight justifiably salty. There's the photo. They finish right together. So we got two exacta prices, two tries, two supers. There's a look at your prices. Running time for the six and a half, 118 and three. Second race, Maiden Claimer is going a flat mile scratch the six. Miss Nancy Francis, program favorites in here. The nine, text me a dear John. And the four, Miss Sloopy. Miss Sloopy has a head in front. From between horses, Peppermint Queen. Gaining from the outside, Tiz Bling. And Tex Mia, Dear John. Those four together. Then from the inside, a fleeting beauty, fashion slave. Up on the outside, have Faith Sister. The trailer is Stem Cell. The half went in 47 and 4. Midway through the turn. Down along the inside now, Tiz Bling. Gaining ground up from the outside. That's Have Faith Sister. Have Faith Sister now gets the lead from Tiz Bling. Center of the track, text me a dear John. Miss Sloopy has dropped back. Now gaining up on the outside. Here comes Stem Cell. They're inside the final furlong. Have Faith Sister is drawn away. Stem Cell up on the outside now takes the second, but nearing the wire, it's Half Faith Sister. Half Faith Sister, an easy winner, wins by about eight or nine lengths. Stem Cell second, looked like a fleeting beauty, got third. Number three, Half Faith Sister just draws off in the stretch under Joseph Berrios, trained by George Leonard, who's had a really good meet so far. Ten dollars, five twenty-three even. Stem Cell came from dead last to get second, a Fleeting Beauty third, double thirty-five sixty, exact to eighty-five forty. Dollar try, one hundred sixty dollars forty cents, and the Super eleven hundred dollars twenty cents. They ran the mile in one forty and two. Third race, five thousand claiming race, six furlongs. Program favorites and here are the three Enders Universe with the meet's leading rider Alvin Jimenez and the four Ridge Dance, ridden by Tommy Pompel. And they're off. Lions Dove broke sharply from the outside, the inside Enders Universe. Then it's It Is The Way, Mr. Argument from the outside. Down the back stretch, Enders Universe ahead in front. It Is The Way, second by three. Mr. Argument runs third, length and a half back. From the inside, that's Desert Bay. Then up from the outside, Do I Do. First quarter went in 22 seconds flat. They're into the turn. Ender's Universe has the lead just by a head. It is the way is second. Mr. Argument third. Length and a half, Do I Do runs fourth. 
Desert Bay is now fifth. Ridge Dance runs the sixth. Moving into the stretch, it is the way has the lead. On the outside, Mr. Argument and Do I Do is now gaining ground. Do I Do gets the lead. It is the way second. Late run from Ridge Dance. Do I Do by a length over It is the way. Photo for third, Ridge Dance and Mr. Argument. Do I Do wins the third race under Azel de Leon. It is the way, the runner up. He did finish second, but take a look at the head on. Coming down the stretch, it is the way in those uh, lime green colors comes over into Mr. Argument, the horse in the white colors. For this, is disqualified and placed behind Mr. Argument, placed fourth for interference in the stretch. It is the way under that left-handed whipping did come out, forcing Mr. Argument to check in the stretch and was disqualified and placed fourth. So do I do, the winner was not affected. Ridge Dance got moved up to second. Mr. Argument moved up to third. It is the way fourth. $9.20, $5.320 for do I do. The double $46.20, the exact of $52.40. Try 9910, the Super 110260, and the pick three 8850. Again, it's it is the way. Disqualified from second and placed fourth. Running time 111 and two. Fourth race, six furlong claiming race. Scratch the five and the seven. Favorites in here: the two Candid Opinions and the three Snow Flitzen. And they're off for the lead from between horses. That's Hustle Hard, moving through from the inside, Salty Music. Then up from the extreme outside, Old Henry. Also up from the outside, Coco Pelly. They're very well bunched on the run down the back stretch. Down along the rail, that's Salty Music with the head in front. From between horses, that is Hustle Hard. Then up from the outside, Coco Pelli is right there. Also up there, Old Henry. Other part of the entry, also Salty Emperor. Well bunched up there. Now Salty Music from the rail has the lead by a length over a hustle hard. On the outside, Salty Emperor is next. Gaining ground now up the rail. Here comes Chazzy Hustle. They're in the stretch. It's Salty Music, Chazzy Hustle now gets the lead. Then up in the center of the track, Candid Opinions nearing the wire. Chazzy Hustle in front, Candid Opinions and Salty Music, Chazzy Hustle. Wins by two and a half photo per second, maybe Candid Opinions over Salty Music, then Salty Emperor. Number six, Chazzy Hustle under Tommy Pompel. Shoots through on the inside, springs the upset for trainer ben Benjamin Trask. $75 for the winner, 2020 and 1380. Second in that photo was the favorite, Candid Opinion. One Salty Music third, the double 10240, the exacta, $242. Try 63360. Super 5,200680. Oh, pick three, $1,092. And the pick four, over $5,000 for the pick four. Running time, 112 and four. Fifth race, six furlong claiming race, fillies and mares. Scratch three, 13, and 14. The favorite, the 10, reward by Blitzing, and the two, Dandy Deal. And they're off. Away from the gate slowly was got no answers. For the lead, the inside mining town, the outside, reward by Blitzing. Then up on the extreme outside, Indiana Annie. Moving through from between horses, that's Pomeroy's Glitter, followed by Dandy Deal, Proud and Pretty is next. Two back, Grand Distraction. Then from the inside, Wacky Mistress. Up on the outside, Blissful Gold is next. Two back to Julian Amber. After that bad start, got no answers is the trailer after a quick 21 and four quarter. On the inside, that is a dandy deal, or rather mining town from the inside. Now gaining ground in the center of the track, dandy deal. It's dandy deal who moves right by and gets the lead. Mining town on the inside is second. Then reward by blitzing. Late run from Indiana Annie and Proud and Pretty. 
but it's Dandy Deal and Perry Oots out in front. Then Proud and Pretty Dandy Deal by four. Proud and Pretty second. Mining Town third. Photo for fourth. Number two, Dandy Deal comes from off the pace to give Perry Oots his second win on the card. Trained by Sean Murphy, thirteen dollars six twenty four sixty. Proud and Pretty rallied for second. Mining Town fades to third. Double three fifty three sixty. Exact is seventy two sixty. Try one fifty seven seventy. Super sixteen hundred thirty three dollars forty cents. Pick three nineteen hundred thirty seven ninety. Running time one eleven and four. Sixth race, allowance race, six furlongs. This is for the three-year-old Philly Cincinnati Trophy Prep. Program favorites, the eight, Paloma P with Alvin Jimenez, and the four, Sunny Short Stack, ridden by Corey Orm. And they're off. Away a bit slowly with Somerville Miss. Paloma P broke sharply on the outside. Moving up from the inside, Sunny Short Stack. Then from the rail, Mad Princess. Drop in between horses is fourth. Madame Wasabi, fifth ahead. Lucy's Revenge, sixth. Then it's Brown Bag in it. Length back to Somerville Miss. The trailer is Lola Gets. First quarter, 22 seconds flat. Moving into the turn. Down along the inside, Sunny Short Stack. Up on the outside, Paloma P. Those two are right together. Then it's two and a half to Mad Princess in third. Drop in is drop back in fourth. Moving through from the rail, that's Brown bagging it in fifth. Then Madame Wasabi. Center of the track, Somerville Miss. They're into the stretch. Paloma P. Now gets the lead and draws away. Paloma P has opened a three length lead over Sunny Short Stack. Then on the outside, Brown bagging it is gaining ground. It's Paloma P, then Brown bagging it is gaining. Paloma P by a length and a half over Brown bagging it, then Sunny Short Stack. Photo for fourth. The favorite, number eight, Paloma P, wins it under Alvin Jimenez, trained by Eric Reed. 320-262-10. Brown bagging it closed well for second. Sunny Short Stack third, double 24-60. Exact of 32-80, the try 63-70, the super 569-40. Pick three, 352, 10. Six furlongs, 112, and one. Seventh race, one mile optional climbing allowance race. Scratch the two and the eight. Favorites in here, the five, Yo Blue, with Alvin Jimenez. And the one, Exultant, ridden by Perry Utes. Midway through the turn, and Exultant has opened the lead. Exultant has drawn off to a seven length lead. Yo Blue moves up and takes second after a 23 and 3 quarter. Homeboy Chris runs third, gap of three. Then Shake Your Groove Thing and Grand Chat. Length back to Dillo. From the inside, More Than Noble is next, and our noble heart still trails. The half went in a quick 46 and 1. It's exultant with the lead. Now just by three. Yo Blue gains from second, homeboy Chris third, five back to shake your groove thing. Then it's on the inside, more than Noble, three more back. Up from the outside, that's Dillo. The trailers are our noble heart and grand chat as they move for the stretch. And it's Yo Blue who just moves right by Exultant. Yo Blue gets the lead and draws off. Exultant is still second. Big gap back to homeboy Chris. Late run from Shake Your Groove Thing, but Yo Blue and Alvin Jimenez draw away. Yo Blue wins by seven. Exultant second, homeboy Chris third. Shake Your Groove Thing fourth. Number five, Yo Blue just draws off. Two in a row for Alvin Jimenez. Trained by Mike Maker, owned by Ken and Sarah Ramsey. 420, $3.240. Exultant a distance second, homeboy Chris third. 760 for the double, exact of 14 even, the try, 2010, the super 12840, and the pick three, 2320. Running time, 136 and 1. The eighth race is the 28th running of the 96 Rock. Scratch the number one horse midnight shine. The favorites, the seven Artemis Coal Mine and the five Bisque. And they're off. Away very slowly was Reflector. Artemis Coal Mine broke sharply. Bisque 
Moves through on the inside between those two. That's forfeit. It's Bisk who gets the lead. Forfeit is second a half length. Our team is coal mine on the outside, but now gaining on the inside. Dubail and Harry's Holiday. Two and a half back to I Need a Miracle. The slow starting reflector trails. 23 flat for the quarter. On the outside, Bisk with Harry's Holiday. They're now together. Dubail runs third. Up on the outside, forfeit is fourth. Artemis Colmine now gains from fifth. Reflector begins to pick up horses, and I Need a Miracle drops back to trail. Half went in 45 and two. Harry's Holiday Bisque. Those two are right together. Moving to the outside, Artemis Colmine is gaining. Forfeit is now fourth. On the inside, Reflector fifth. It's Harry's Holiday. Down along the inside with the lead. Bisk is second. Artemis Colmine on the outside. Late run from Reflector and forfeit, but Harry's Holiday just draws off. Harry's Holiday wins easily by seven. Photo for second. Bisk and Artemis Colmine, then forfeit. An impressive performance by Harry's Holiday. Just draws off. An easy winner in the 96 Rock under Rodney Prescott. Uh, Mike Maker, the trainer, Sky High Racing, LLC, and Terry Raymond, the owner, 740, 320, and 220. Our team is Coal Mine, also trained by Maker, finished second. This was third, the double, 2840. Exactly $10, the try, 1940, the super, 13360, and the pick three, 1820. Congratulations to the connections of Harry's Holiday, winner of the 96 Rock in 116 and 3. Ninth race, 5,000 claimers going six furlongs, scratch eight, 13, and 14. The favorites, number seven, to the moon and beyond, and the 11, Wicked Picket. And they're off for the lead from the inside. That's Bold Seeker. Up on the outside, Apollyon. Quickly between those two, go on Mert. Then up from the extreme outside, you're up Zip. Down the back stretch, Apollyon with the head in front. Down along the round now, go on Mert. Those two together. Two back, you're up, Zip runs third. Gaining ground from the inside to the moon and beyond. Now takes third. Moving from the outside, that's Wicked Picket. Bold Seeker on the rail. And it's a length and a half back to Goob. 22 and 2 for the opening quarter. Apollyon the leader. On the inside, go on Mert to the moon and beyond gains from third. Then on the inside, Bold Seeker fourth. Wicked Picket in the center of the track is now fifth. Down the stretch and Apollyon now draws away to a three-length lead to the moon and beyond second. Then it's Bold Seeker up on the outside. Wicked Picket, Apollyon in front all the way, wins by four. To the moon and beyond second, then Bold Seeker, followed by Wicked Picket. You're up Zip was fifth. Number five, Apollyon under Amanda Tamborello takes the ninth, trained by Manny Perez, 1586, 84, 60. Second, the seven to the moon and beyond. Third, number three, Bold Seeker. 3440 for the double, the exacta $80, the tribe 549, super 4,000, 38660. Pick three, 6660. The pick four, 189.60. For the Turfway Park Report, I'm Mike the Tag. Good night. <laughs>